hey guys welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here on this channel you are highly welcome in today's video i'll be sharing with us how to sew this lovely maxi booboo dress this booboo dress has a snatched waistline at the front it has a front slit and a slit on the front neckline so if you're interested in learning how to make something like this keep on watching and if you're not yet subscribed to this family please hit that subscribe button and let us head straight into this tutorial Right here guys, I have laid out the fabric that I want to use to make my booboo -boo dress and it is unfold. So from the folded edge of this my fabric, I am going to be marking my shoulder measurement divided by 2 and that is 8 inches from for me. And from this 8 inches mark now, I am going to be marking the length of my sleeve. Okay, feel free to use whatever sleeve length you want. And right here for the length of my sleeve, I'm going to be marking 15 inches and I have like an extra two or one and a half inch left for hemming my sleeve. Bear in mind guys that all these markings I'm making is for the back. We are first of all going to cut out the back before we cut out the front. So for my neck depth, I'm going to be using a neck depth of one and a half inches for the back and I'll be using a neck width of about three inches, okay? And I'm going to connect these points together. After marking on my neckline, the next thing I'm going to do is create my slant. So from this top like this, around where my sleeve ends, okay? From this top, I am going to be marking one and a half inches for my slant. The slant, marking the slant or creating a slant on your booboo -boo dress is totally optional, but I love to just have that slant. So I'm going to be connecting this to meet my neckline. Next, I am going to go ahead and mark out my sleeve opening and this is totally dependent on how wide or how tapered down you want your sleeve opening to be. For me, I am going to be marking 14 inches and this includes seam allowances. So like originally my sleeve opening should be about 12 and a half inches. So guys, after marking out my sleeve opening, I am going to go ahead and mark my bust measurement divided by four and for me it is 8.75 inches i'll go ahead and add four inches for my ease allowance because this is a booboo -boo dress and it has to be a little bit big and i'm marking out one inch for seam allowance now when it comes to ease the amount of ease you are going to add is totally dependent on how big or how slim you want your booboo -boo gown to be so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mark the entire measurement that i have down here so that i will rule out a straight line now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a curve to meet this my sleeve opening like this so i need you to watch carefully so that you see how i created my curve it just it's just a random curve and here guys we are done with all our markings for the back and the next thing we are going to do is take our scissors and cut around all these areas And after cutting guys this is what we have i am going to fold this and put it put this away while i arrange the material that i'm going to be using for the front so right here this is the material that i'm going to be using for the front and right here i marked out a line that's about one and a half inches and this is me laying the back that we just cut out onto the front like this i'm going to arrange it carefully making sure that the center the folded edge is at that one and a half inch line that i marked out so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to grab my chalk and mark out this my neckline where the neckline of the back is and i'm going to determine my neck depth for the front so for the front i'm going to be using a neck depth of four and a half inches 
and I'm going to be using my curved ruler to connect this point. After marking out my front neckline, I'm going to grab my scissors and cut it out and next I'm basically going to just trace out this back pattern. So basically the difference between the front and the back is just the neckline and that allowance that we left for our slit because this dress has a front slit and also a slit on the front neckline. So after cutting guys this is what i have i have also gone ahead to open up the front so that we have two pieces for the front so the next thing i'm going to determine is how deep i want my front neckline slit to be and I'm, i marked out five inches for that now i'm from the top of this my booboo dress from the shoulder i am going to mark out where i want my slit to start from and i am marking out 36 inches so you can use whatever measurement you want for that so i'm going to be stitching from this point to this point and after making that stitch guys this is what i have now i am going to open this up okay and layer it flat on my table and the next thing i am going to do is open up my seams okay i'm going to open this up and i'll take it to my ironing board and i'll use my iron to iron it flat out properly and after ironing it flat out properly i'm going to be introducing my hemming gum i'm going to be placing my hemming gum in between like this and i'm going to use my iron to iron it down to activate the glue so that we'll have a very clean finish for the slit area even for the down slit area i'm basically going to do the same thing i'm going to iron this out flat very well and i'll introduce my hemming gum i'll use my hemming gum to glue that down and we are going to have a very neat and clean finish when we are done now if you don't have a hemming gum close to you you can run a very nice stitch so guys this is what i have after after ironing this down and adding my hemming gum as you can see this is looking very fine clean clean proper and tidy if on the front area even at the back area so what i'm going to do next is i am going to flip this over to the back and i am going to mark out where i want my belt to be okay now from this my shoulder i am going to be marking my half length which is 16 inches but i marked 16 and a half inches because i am going to be joining the shoulder by half an inch so after marking this, I'll use my ruler and connect a straight line. So after connecting my straight line, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be marking a quarter of my waist measurement here. And on this other side, I'm going to be marking a quarter of my waist measurement there. Okay, so in total, I have my waist measurement divided by two on the front. And this is the fabric that i'm going to be using to create my belt okay so i have two pieces here and this this um fabric measures about nine inches by 40 inches just make sure that you have enough fabric to wrap around your stomach down to your back okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be folding this over and i'll take it to my sewing machine and stitch it down by half an inch now you can decide to have a tinier belt okay i feel like the bigger your belt the more prominent the, the shape is going to be the snatching is going to be so after stitching it down and turning it inside out guys this is what i have and what i'm going to do is i'm going to be pinning this on this mark that i made i'm going to pin it on this side and stitch it down by half an inch and pin it down on the other side and stitch it down by half an inch and this is what is going to give us that snatched effect in the front by the time we tie it around our back so guys like i said earlier if you want your waistline to be more snatched at the front you can decide to make your belt bigger or make it smaller just use your discretion and this is what we have after i have stitched it down and when i tie it around like this to my back it is going to give us that snatched and snitched is this cinched <laughs> waistline at the front so now this is me layering my front onto my back 
and I am going to align the shoulders together like this. You can use pins to secure it down and I'm going to be stitching it down using half an inch. I'm also going to be doing the same thing for the other shoulder. I'm going to align it, pin it down if you want and stitch it down using half of an inch. And this is what I have guys after stitching it down. As you can see, I have stitched down the both shoulders. The next thing I am going to do is also align these points together, okay? And I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch it down by one inch because I actually added one inch for stitching allowance when I was marking this out. So I'm going to stitch it all the way down to the end and I'll be doing the same thing for the other side. So guys, after stitching it down, this is what it looks like and this is the other side too. I have gone ahead to stitch the other side down. So guys, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hem my sleeve opening. So what I'm going to do is I am going to fold this in once and fold it in again and I'll run a top stitch and I'll do the same thing for the both sleeves and at the same time, I am also going to be hemming the bottom of this my booboo dress using the same method i'm going to fold it in once and fold it in twice and i'll just stitch it down using the top stitch so guys this is what it looks like after i have gone ahead to hem my sleeves everything is looking very nice clean trim prim and proper <laughs> and it's the same thing for the ends of my booboo dress i've gone ahead to hem it down and our booboo dress is almost ready at this point and right here in the front is that stitch that i made if you don't want this stitch to be sewing i think you can use an invisible stitch or maybe an invisible thread or something next i also went ahead to hem my front neckline i just cut a strip of fabric that measured about one inch and i used it to hem my front neckline and next i'm going to give this a proper press and this is what our booboo dress is looking like giving me the rich anti vibes and i really love this booboo -boo dress because it is free on you and at the same time it snatches your front waistline making it very nice and stylish so guys we have come to the end of today's tutorial and if you found this video helpful in any way go ahead and give me a like so that more people can get to see this video drop your questions and your suggestions in the comment section subscribe to this family if you're not yet subscribed and guys the tutorial for this my beautiful braided headband is up on our channel i'll link it in the description box and i'll see you in my next video guys bye